All right, welcome back. Um, I've got a couple of announcements uh, to share briefly uh, before we jump into the games. I'm hoping to play some Teams games today. Uh, variants, of course, uh, playing Teams with uh, War for Throne 2. Um, we'll see how that how that works. Um, so before we jump into that, uh, three three things I want to share. Firstly, it's not really an announcement, but more of a uh, patting myself on the back, right? Um, I finally hit uh, some peak ratings uh, yesterday, July 31st. Um, within a couple of hours of each other, I got my highest ever um, Rapid and Blitz rating for variants, free for all. And then shortly later, I got my highest ever uh, bullet rating, free for all variants. So here's the first game I wanted to share. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, don't worry. But uh, it was a Rapid and Blitz Time Control War for Throne 2. Um, and not a very exciting game. Uh, we have lower rated opponents. And when I won, uh, well, it said 2,500 at the time, believe me. It said 2,499.7, which in my book is close enough. Um, I did get higher than that um, later, dropped down a, a little bit, and was kind of 2,470, 2,480 something. Um, but then here's the bullet game uh, later on. A win there put me, this time it was above 2,503. So um, very uh, pleased with the results of those two games. And, and like I said, highest ratings ever. I've been uh, focusing a lot of effort on, on those two rating categories. So it's nice that um, they paid off. Uh, this, the second part of the first announcement was this game, where, again, I was paired up with very low rated opponents. It was not a difficult game, not a challenging game. But this is what happened. I played this move, and then what I saw on my screen at the time was that Blue's clock ran completely down. 58, 57, all the way down till it was 0, 0, 0. 0.1, and it froze. And it didn't say Blue had disconnected, it didn't say forfeits on time, it didn't say anything. It just froze at 0. 0.1, one tenth of a second. Uh, so I sat there for a moment or two and, and kind of thought, okay, is, is it glitched? Is it frozen? Did the server go down? So I refreshed my page. And when I refreshed, uh, I did not see these three moves. I saw that. Oh, no. So I'm sitting there, 20 points. Yes, that's in second place right now, but there's a lot of game left to be played yet. Um, so I sat there in horror and watched the game unfold, and it was, uh, I was, at this point I was thinking, okay, maybe, maybe yellow will get mated without losing, or without exchanging any of their piece, he'll be on 19 points and I'll take a win, uh, but that was not the case. Uh, there. So right there, I'm definitely in last place. Nothing I can do except watch, and uh, it doesn't really matter how the rest of the game unfolded. Negative 95 points. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. So that was the first announcement. Uh, out of the way, if you see me and, and wonder why my rating is so low, it's because of this game right here. But that's the way it is. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's it's about playing for the fun of it, you know? If you don't have a challenge, what's uh, what's the point? So yeah, you can always strive to have a higher rating, but at least now I have a goal. I want to get back to 2,500, and um, the games that I play from here on out are going to be with that goal in mind. So it's 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 a challenge for me. You can say it's not fair. You can you know beg for rating points back. Um, actually, I did, <laughs> but I was told it's not going to happen, and um, you know it's. At the end of the day, it's it's uh, it's a new challenge. All right, done with that. The second announcement is the War for Throne Mega Match. I did post a video; it was unlisted, so you might not have caught it. Um, but there is, I'm going to be hosting a War for Throne Mega Match here on the four-player uh, server of Chess.com uh, with cash prizes. 
First place takes home, uh, where is it? $200. So I am excited to see some good competition. I'm not going to be playing in it myself. Uh, I'm going to be commentating, recording it for the channel here. Um, so yeah, there is a forum thread all about it linked from my profile. I'll also put a link to this thread in the description of this video. So if you're a variant player, if you love War for Throne the, the way I do, and or maybe you haven't, maybe you're, you're just starting out and you think maybe we'll give it a shot. Um, I would encourage you, you got a lot of time. This doesn't happen, start happening until the last two weekends in September. So I, there's plenty of time in there. Um, there are some minimum requirements, uh, should be easy to achieve especially if you've been watching my, my videos. Um, so get in there. Um, we'd, love to, we'd love to see you play. Uh, we'd love to have some more competition. That's the second announcement. Third announcement is a quick one. Um, I'm going to open up this. Uh, this. We have a Discord for the four-player chess. I don't run it. I'm not in charge in it or anything. I'm just promoting it here. So there is a link here. I'll also put that link um, in the description of the, this video. So I would encourage you hop on there even if um, maybe you're just getting into four player chess. Uh, there's plenty of, of discussion in there about, uh, well, about a lot, of, a lot of different things. I mostly hang out in this channel here, the Variance channel. So um, send me a friend request while you're at it too, uh, both on Discord, on chess.com. Uh, I love, uh, love having people that I can um, see what, uh, see what, what am I trying to say? I love having uh, a lot of folks on the list that I can pop in and see what they're up to. So, um, that's the, the announcements for today. We're going to jump into some teams games here. Um, we're going to try and play some War for Throne 2 with teams. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll catch you once the game starts. All right, welcome. Uh, we're playing teams. Of course, it's War for Throne. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, we're playing teams today. Uh, I am teamed with a player BPB24, very strong War for Throne player. Um, this is actually the first time he and I have played teams, so I uh, hope to have some, some solid competition here. Yeah, that seems like a good move protecting this pawn. Um, maybe yellow, and I'll capture. Okay. I think this. If we see that, okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, maybe it would have been better to do that one move. Okay. One move later, I could have captured on yellow and then blue could have done that. Um, yep, that seems good. Protect the king there. Teams is a lot of fun with this. Man, I used to play teams. Uh, I used to play teams uh, on this a lot. Like I would, I would try hard on the uh, teams leaderboard with this. Um, you know, I think maybe this is better. I like keeping that pawn in the corner there. Um, and it's also nice to play <laughs> play this game with somebody who you know is is strong. Um, yeah, that seems good. Just developing. And this. If blue is engaging with yellow, I want to be distracting red. Developing. The center game is not as, as important um, in teams as it is. Uh, OK. So I would say this first. Yeah. And then this. And then if red does go there, I can always give it a check. Okay, so yeah. we're at, at, I think we're avoiding major conflict here. Um, you know, if this, then this. Okay. Uh, and then I'll go here, and we'll get a check out of it. Um, checks are good always in, in this, in teams play. Uh, 
Let's protect that on the Thunder King. That looks good. Okay, yeah. That's yeah, that's good. I was gonna say take the opportunity to swing that king around, but there's no reason why that uh, a post tier shouldn't be good. All right, I, you don't do this yet because he'll just recapture. But wait till I can distract yellow over here. No, that's fine. This uh, um, go for mate on yellow. Okay, that yeah, this this will be good. One, two, three. Okay, so this is uh, in the bag. Quick game for everybody. Yeah, either of those is fun. And good game. All right. Let's see who our opponents were. We're playing against two 1500s, so... Um, yeah, not like that was such a great, uh, such a great show of skill, but, you know, teams is always interesting, um, and it's been a while since I was doing four-player chess, uh, teams, so, anyway, maybe we'll fit in another one for you, uh, I think that game was quick enough that we should be able to showcase one more in this video and still have a, have a relatively short video for today. All right, uh, we will welcome you back in our next game. Okay, and we have our second game here. Um, same teammate. This, uh, an opening that doesn't attack is a bad opening um, in War for Throne. In case y'all didn't catch my, um, my thread about uh, War for Throne openings, you need to attack. Take there, I'll capture. And then even if he do, does give a check, I'm okay with that. And now we recapture. Okay, so we're doing all right. I would say protect the undefended pawn. Um, promoting. Eh, yeah, we could go against yellow. Let's try that. I don't want to be attacked twice. Um, I would say promote. There is a my favorite strategy in, in teams play is to weasel around to the back rank. It's almost you know you have to be really careful um, that you you don't let um, one player distract you and the other one go for the back rank. In there, and now I capture here, and now that. Or that, either, either way. And now, uh, yeah, we don't want red to distract green. Now we can capture, there's that. There's that. Um, that because then we can uh, yeah I can distract yellow if, if need be here and then we take and there so first there yellow recaptures and now we can 
wreak havoc. And just in case Yellow had any ideas of promoting or doing anything, I'll stop him. All right, so yeah, we're largely ignoring red. I'm aware of that. But it's very easy to stop red from getting to the center if that's what we want to do. Um, we do have to be careful on this side that we don't get mated ourselves. Yeah, bring, bring it in. So let's do something like that. Um, this is no good because of that. Um, and if yellow recaptures, I'll capture there, unless red gets a check or something. Let's do that. Yeah, that first. I'm okay with that. Take and how to recapture. There. Get a check. And that. Okay, so that was a little scary there for a second, but we are still much better. Yellow has no defense to speak of. Um, red's got three more checks from May. Actually, no, this first, and then one, two. Um, okay. So let's distract uh, yellow a little bit. Maybe we can try and sneak around. Um, I'll go there first. Here, and then promote. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe take a second there. I want to be able to, to um, help green with this attack. So going in for the for the attack right away is not a good idea. This is a stabilized position. Um, let's keep going. Capture there. Still looking very solid in this game. I know I don't have a ton of material, but um, we'll make things we'll make some things happen here. Green is is making up for that. Uh, green can, can promote. I can go here. Um, Or, yeah, either or. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, now we should go in for an attack. Yep. Um, yeah, capture here looks good. Check here is good. Even with that, still still check there. Okay, yeah. Took me a second to find the mate there. But of course, that or that wins on the spot. So anyway, that's the video that we have for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, some exciting team play. Um, I'm going to keep playing here, but uh, we will see y'all in the...